Hello guys, it is Brittany here and welcome back to my Color Guard YouTube channel. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you want to learn more about this piece of equipment right here. If that is the case, then please keep watching because today we have another fun skill for you to learn. So let's go! Alright, so first things first when it comes to learning double time is to make sure that we establish two things. One thing is that double time is a series of kind of passes from hand to hand. I don't like to call them tosses because the second we think about tossing things, the second step to get over rotated or under rotated just gets a little messy. So think of these as passes from your right to left hand or vice versa and it'll be a lot easier. And um, obviously, like I said before, it's also gonna be a sequence. Um, if you think of it as four separate motions, which we'll learn as four separate motions, but don't put them together. It'll be kind of hard to get the concept of double time all together. So that being said, let's get started and learn the pattern so we can do double time. First things first, you wanna start at a right flat. If you don't not know what a right flat is, is when your left hand is on the nose, right hand is palm up on the neck, and um, your rifle is at waist level. So like how we, how we start drop spins because the first thing we're going to do in our double time sequence is a drop spin. If you don't know how to do a drop spin, I have a tutorial with that somewhere um, on my channel, so go look for that first. If you know how to do a drop spin, we're going to go ahead and do that. So you're going to push your left hand down and do a single drop spin. From here, that is our first motion, is when we're at the neck. So this is position number one, this kind of vertical position on our neck. Now position two is going to transition to our left hand. Remember this is a pass and not a toss. If you think of it as a toss, you're more likely to drop this than succeed in completing the pattern. So you want to lift up your nose to an upper right um, 45 here, and then you will slowly pass it to your left hand. Roughly about a left flat position with your left hand a little bit past the bolt um, closer to the tip. From here, um, typically we have momentum to go to our next position. Obviously we don't have that because we're learning them as four separate motions. Um, so this might be a little weird to learn at first. But think about lifting your butt up to the right. Um, so you'll kind of tap through this position. It's not a stopping point. So you'll go from your drop spin here and it'll kind of be more like a swing and pass motion rather than a stop at this position. You're gonna kind of tap it and push the butt up so it flips into your right hand at the top of the bolt right there. And it should be in your right hand now. Now for our second to last little pass before we restart the sequence, we're gonna go back to our left hand, of course. And we're going to go from the top of the bolt, which is closer to our tip. Now we're going to switch to our left hand on the bottom side of the bolt, which is closer to the butt. So we're just gonna go from here to here. And that's all. Now we have one more little pass and that will restart our cycle. Um, we'll be able to do double time continuously. So now we lift our nose up to the right one more time. And this one will be more of a rotation um, at first when you're learning with no momentum, but once you kind of put it within the sequence, it'll just feel like another pass. So rotate up to this upper 45, like you release all tosses. And you're gonna flip and catch a little over rotated, but you wanna catch right at the neck, once again at this vertical position, because that is position one. And that is the sequence of double time. Now I'm gonna show you a little um, kind of phrase that I use to help my students remember the double time sequence. And I'll show you what double time looks like once you put it all together and you're able to do it continuously. So let's check that out. So the little sequence of words that I use to help my students remember double time, starting from here, is you're going to, it's going to be um, neck, neck, bolt, bolt because we're going from the side of the rifle that has the neck, so this side, um, and then once we get to the position three and four, we're on the bolt side. So it kind of helps you remember the pattern and remember which side of the rifle to be on at that moment. So we start here, and we do our drop spin, obviously. Neck, neck, and we go to the opposite side of our rifle, bolt, should be in your right hand at the top of the bolt, and bolt. Now in your left hand on the bottom side of the bolt. Now we do our little flip, 
come back to here. Neck, neck, bolt, bolt. Neck, neck, bolt, bolt. Notice every time as you're getting more comfortable, it should barely leave your hands, because as you should remember, these are not tosses, they are a series of passes. Okay? When you put it all together, it should be a little bit more comfortable and it should go neck, neck, bolt, bolt, restart, neck, neck, bolt, bolt, restart, neck, neck, bolt, bolt. You get the idea. Okay? So once you've kind of mastered the four positions, you put them into a sequence and are able to restart and you kind of remember the pattern of neck, neck, and bolt, bolt. When you put it all together, you should be able to do it like this. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it or found it any bit educational, I suggest you like and subscribe to this channel for more Color Guard content. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this topic or others, please leave in the comment section down below. And for more tips, tricks, and tosses, subscribe to this channel and leave recommendations down below for any things you might not see on my channel just yet. That is all for me today, you guys. Have a good day and bye.